Hello my friends, welcome to my new Time for Magic uh, video uh, where this week I continue to use some more of the new release Ministry of Time uh, stamps from Lavinia Stamps. I'm also combining it with uh, some of the uh, other launches from Autumn and this is my take on the Cinderella story. So but before we begin let's have as always a look at some of the materials used. So to begin, as usual, we have some lovely ink sprays from Lavinia Stamps. We have Midnight Blue, Bright White, Teal and Periwinkle. I'm also using a couple of the Mysticals in Blue Moon and Fruit Sorbet. I'm doing some heat embossing in this project with the detailed white powder and the Versamark uh, stamping pad. Also pulled out Salvage Bettina in Distress and Tumble Grass in Distress Oxide. For the stamping and blending, we've got the Nocturne, Medieval Blue, Warm Breeze, Fantasia and Purple Delight. I'm also using some uh, pens and pencils. I have a Posca pen in turquoise. I've also got a number of sparkle pens from Stabilo. I've got gold and silver, orange, purple, pink and also a teal colour. I'm also using the Stabilo Wall Black Pencil and the Fine Line Black Marker along with an ordinary pencil for some drawing. And for some splatters I've got another Posca in white and a detailed white as well. We've got our masks, Acetate Hill Masks and a Circle Mask for the Moon. And we've also got the Anti-Static Bag, this time it's a, a proper one. <laughs> I've got some pan pastels in a phalo green tint and also titanium white along with my pastel stick as well. Some tacky glue as well for mounting with black and white card later and some applicators and the battery operated eraser for the pan pastels. Also the putty eraser for removing some of the pan pastel um, which is handy and our trusty Lavinia Stamps stencil brushes. Um, I've got also this week some uh, masking sheets and a pair of scissors to cut out a mask and finally I've got a water brush but this is optional. So moving on then to the lovely stamps and stencil used, a nice array today. We have the fabulous masquerade stamp and also cog one and three sets and the tick clock and also the um, time uh, file set uh, sentiment time is of the essence we've got the cogs we've got the carriage we've got uh, Tilly and Tango Minnie and Mo the little sets the Dragonstone Castle uh, the Star Cluster and also the Star Group Mini um, also optional is the Tree of Courage and Tree of Hope just to frame the picture at the end so if you want to convert these stamps and stencil into something a little like this, please keep on watching.
unfortunately, I didn't realise my camera battery had died and uh, there's a few steps that I've uh, taken that I'm going to talk you through. The first one is I've darkened the top of the picture with the black and I've also taken the Posca pen and added um, some splatters and how I do that is uh, tap it with another pen so that the splatters go uh, to the top, nice, small, evenly spread splatters. There you are, you can see that. Also added some additional uh, larger uh, white specks and stamped the trees to either side just to frame the picture using the Nocturne ink. Also the, t uh, the sentiment, time is of the essence, of course, Cinderella, very apt sentiment. I've taken the gold and silver and added some uh, highlights there to the mice and also to the castle in the background and made sure that the uh, masquerade mask was twinkly as well. Just little bits here and there, the extra little details make all the difference. Some more dots as well amongst the, uh, the magical part. Um, so that's pretty much it in terms of the steps that were missed. And the next thing then is to cut uh, some black card and a white card to size to mount the picture and to uh, give it a little frame. Okay friends, there you have it. I hope you enjoyed today's project. Don't forget to check out the description box below for uh, links to the stamps used and other materials. But until next time, take very good care of yourselves.